Take a break from your busy schedule and join Harold Sala for Guidelines, a five-minute commentary on living. In Jack Kerouac's book, On the Road, one character turns to the other and says, We gotta go and never stop till we get there. Where are we going, man? asks the other. I don't know, he says, but we gotta go. You know, life is like that for a lot of us. Life seems to be one frantic routine, a squirrel cage of existence, always on the go. And then our purpose in life gets lost in the press of activities, so there's not much to look forward to. Only another boring day, the same thing repeated, too much to do, too little time to do it. While we were waiting for dinner, while I was in the home of an insurance salesman, I picked up a current sales manual. The lead article told salesmen how to increase sales. The article spelled out four points. But what struck me as being interesting was these same four points would not only help the insurance man to sell more insurance, but they would help anybody put his life in perspective for all eternity if you really follow them. Allow me to give you the four points, guidelines, and then talk about them briefly. Number one, says the insurance manual. The individual must recognize that he has a problem. Secondly, he must have a strong desire to solve the problem. Third, he must recognize that finding a solution to the problem is more important than anything else in life. And fourthly, he must be willing to give up something to obtain that goal. Interesting. Now, the first guideline of the insurance manual was letting the prospective buyer know he's got a problem. In that case, not enough insurance. But on second thought, no person can solve any problem until he comes face to face with it and recognizes he needs help. We've been talking about goals and purposes in life. What are yours? Can you spell them out, or do you recognize there is not much that gives you a purpose in life or makes it worth living? Many people never cross over that bridge to reality. They live in a constant fairy tale world of make believe. They try to convince themselves that life is meaningful, but in their hearts they know they're still searching, still looking, and life is passing them by. Step number two involves having a strong desire to solve the problem or conflict that exists. God's put within the heart of every person a conscience. It is a still, small voice that usually prompts us as to what is right or wrong. Jesus said the Holy Spirit makes us realize our lives are empty apart from God's grace. If you feel that life is shortchanging you, it may be a very good thing. Third, you need to recognize that finding a solution to your problem is one of the most important things you can ever do. Jesus stated the purpose of his coming so clearly when he said, I have come that you might have life and have it abundantly. Countless scores of people have found in him the answer to their searching heart, a purpose to a purposeless existence. Have you? He made promises like this, Whoever comes to me I will in no wise cast out. And whatever you shall ask in my name, I will do it. None but God could dare to do that. The last guideline suggests you need to be willing to give up something to find what you want. Jesus said, Whoever will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. Are you willing to give up the sin that has defeated you, the problem that drags you down, the hopelessness that brings despair, turn from that and just follow him. And then your life will take on purpose and significance. It's a good trade. You've just heard Dr. Harold Sala with Guidelines, a five-minute commentary on living. If you would like to listen to the program again, download a copy, subscribe to our e-commentary, or view other resources, visit guidelines.org. We would like to hear from you, too. You can email us at info at guidelines.org. That's info at guidelines.org. Thanks for listening, and we invite you to join us again for the next edition of Guidelines.